I am an online reseller as well as a self-proclaimed treasure hunter. But my real passion is in finding a great story. So make sure you subscribe because each week I'm bringing you my coolest finds and telling you their amazing stories. Hey guys, today's video is all about vintage technology. I'm gonna make you so grateful that you have one of these because everything that I'm gonna show you is literally technology that is so obsolete that it is somewhere on your iPhone. People are still willing to shell out a good amount of money for these things. So I'm gonna show you what these things are. These are things that you guys can find at estate sales and flea markets. And I'm also going to call the winner for the Baccarat dish giveaway that we did last week. So make sure you sit tight till the end of the video. So the first thing I'm gonna show you guys is a giant box made of plastic and wood and wires. This is a vintage Panasonic flip clock. Each number is like a piece of plastic and then it like folds down every minute of every day. So it's like constantly physically moving to change the time. And this is, wakes you up in the morning, you can turn it on, you can listen to music. There's really no good way to be woken up in the morning. I for sure would have grabbed this and thrown it on the floor. I would have stepped on it. So how this thing is in such perfect condition, I do not know, probably because it did not belong to me. And I just learned that these things exist. These things still go for a hundred dollars, sometimes a little bit more, just kind of depending on the condition, depending on the brand. Now this has a brand here, so you can actually just look up Panasonic flip clock and these things come up and you would be shocked at what these things can go for. You guys, this next thing is kind of crazy. Like this is called a Tascam mini studio, which is super helpful if you're recording some kind of a tape, some kind of a demo tape or some kind of a record label and you can like, no, 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 hit levers and turning buttons. I don't really know what this all does. Yeah. There are so many buttons and so many levers and this thing was literally just used to record music. Like, it's a button on your phone that you click and you can literally record whatever you want. Tascam Porta One. If you know what to look for, you actually can find these pretty often just because nobody really knows what they are. But these go anywhere from $100 to $200 just because there's like some cool functions on them. People really like still recording to these old tapes. But anything Tascam is generally gonna do pretty well. The next thing I'm gonna show you guys, this is the very first Macintosh ever made. Apple Macintosh 128K. It's kind of yellow because that's what happens to plastic once it's been around for 7,000 years. But what's crazy about these, people still pay a lot of money for these things. These things still sell anywhere from $100 to $200 depending on what's included, depending on condition, depending on if they work or not. Just because this seems obsolete doesn't mean it's not worth anything. The screen is literally the size of today's iPad and it probably does less than today's iPad. You guys, this next thing is like just mildly over the top. As you can imagine in the 50s, it was really, really, really difficult to like film things. Video and like film was still like a fairly new thing in the 50s. So you wanted to like film your son at his like junior high prom or do people film their kids at junior high proms? Are there junior high proms? <laughs> you would need this. You would need this giant like thing this is what you needed to like film things back in the day. You guys, we live in a beautiful day and age where you could do all of this on your phone. This is a vintage Bolex camera. And so you can actually find parts to this and everything on this camera, if you were to take it apart, goes for a lot of money. But these things go anywhere from $300 to $900. But just make sure that if you find vintage camera equipment that you look up the name. This thing is kind of cool, but it's also just like super dramatic to just like film any kind of like daily activity. And then you had to like buy film for it. You had to load the film and then you had to develop the film, don't even get me started on like developing film. I haven't developed film for like 300 years. All of that stuff that I was just holding, 
this thing does! Like, how far have we really come in just these last few years? We can consolidate all of our technology into some amazing little bit of plastic and glass to do everything that we needed to do. It's quite incredible, really, if you think about it. So last week, I did a live show with the YouTube channel Bolo Buddies. Bolo Buddies is a really cool YouTube channel because it talks about things that are currently selling on eBay, what they're selling for, the things people are buying to sell. So it's like this really great resource to learn new things. So I'm gonna put a link in the description below so you can check out the live show that I did and you can check out some of the other Bolo Buddies videos. I have to draw a winner for last week's giveaway that I did for the Baccarat dish. Last week, I asked you guys what the most valuable glass item was that you've ever found. And I told you to leave a comment in the comment section below. I actually have a copper pot of the usernames of everybody that left a comment on this video. This is like everybody's names in here. I'm gonna back run. Oh my God. Somebody's gonna want a back run dish. Thrifty Traders. All right, Thrifty Trader found a pretty sweet Steuben vase in an abandoned storage unit and sold it for $700. So that's like a great find, especially in a storage unit. So Thrifty Trader, leave me a comment in the comment section below and uh, we will get in touch and then I can ship you your buckle rod dish. Congratulations. So thank you guys for watching. Make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss future episodes. And I hope you all have a wonderful day.